is a lot of days. <laughs> it's your anniversary. A week away could have been just what the doctor ordered for you and Sam. Ah, finally, our fucking honeymoon. But after speaking to the travel agents, there's just no way you can afford it. Maybe next year. Still, just because you can't have a holiday doesn't mean you can't make tonight special. You have the day off today, so you could try and make a nice romantic meal for them this evening. Though they did expressly tell you not to bother this morning. You think a cheap last minute gesture won't change anything, but exact words. It'd be nice to have a lovely evening together. Get to work. Turning the house into the perfect romantic setting for tonight. Everything's going according to plan. Sam's going to love it. Patiently, you wait for them to arrive. Even you and Chris seem to be on the same page for the first time in years. Maybe it's been long enough for them to forgive you, or perhaps they decided that you were unfair to ask. By the way, they're grateful for their newfound peace. They even helped you clean up the house today, so when Sam gets back from work, it will be pristine. Your keys in the lock and put the final touches in place. As Sam steps into the hallway or waiting in the doorway to the kitchen, dressed to the nines and acting as nonchalant as possible. Alex, what, what's all this? Oh my god, did you clean? And what's this, What's that smell? They give you a quick kiss as they step past you into the kitchen where the banquet is laid out. Candles lit with Chris and Charlie staying quietly grinning. Oh my god, Alex. Happy anniversary, Sam. Happy anniversary comes a chorus from your two cheerleaders as Sam turns to you smiling and tears in their eyes. Alex, it's perfect. Aww. Good job, Alex. You finally did something. <laughs> oh, shit. That's mean of me to say. Oh, that's mean of me to say. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Sam rushes over and kisses you softly, only breaking off when you get a less than subtle cough from Charlie. <sighs> Charlie. So I got officially accepted into the Community Cohesion Management Program, Charlie blurts out. And that's our cue. Come on, Charlie. Time for us to go. Have fun, you two. Chris, thank you. You're welcome. Now I should get, go get our own dinner. You can grill Charlie when he's back. Tomorrow, as in, not tonight. See ya. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. The wink, they finish ushering Charlie out of the house. You pull out Sam's chair for them. Why, thank you, Sam says, taking a seat and grinning at you. Sir Charlie's been busy. They shake their head as you take your own seat up opposite them. Tomorrow for, tomorrow. for now, you really didn't have to do all this. Alex. I know. I want to. I love you, Sam. I love you, too. They breathe, admiring the panoply of food you've prepared for them. Now, where on earth do I begin? They laugh as you pour the first glass of champagne of the evening. You're very lucky to have such a wonderful family. Who could ask for more? I wish I had my fucking daughter. But she got fucking blown up. Cube it? Who is this? Interesting. Interesting. Everything's ready. You and Sam's been trying to watch Bullet Man for years, but you missed it in the cinemas, and it never seems to be in stock. When one of you went to pick up the VHS, now you're just waiting for them to get back, to get home so you can start. You hear the front door open as you put a bowl of popcorn on the coffee table. We're all ready to go. Get your butt in here. Sam comes in with a vacant stare, ignoring both film and snacks as they sit down next to you. Oh God. Oh no. You have to actually nudge them to break their. Oh no. No, 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 what? Sam, what is it? I, uh, I've just been let go from work. Sam is just staring into space. Apparently there just isn't a need for two nursery teachers anymore. 
not enough children, so they can't justify the expense. Honey, honey, I'm so sorry. I'll be okay. I'll find another place. No, you don't get it. There just isn't that demand for younger year, younger years teachers anymore. Not just here, anywhere. I don't know what I'm going to do, what we're going to do. He pulls Sam into a hug. I know things are tough, but we'll think of something. How, Alex? We're barely scrapping by as it is, and now Sam starts to sob. We're gonna have to sell this. We're gonna have to sell the house. I can't see any other option. We got too many debts to pay. If that's what we have to do, fine. It's only the two of us living here now, anyway. I suppose you're right. Still, I hate the idea of losing this place. Think of everything that's happened here, Alex. Fall silent, thinking. Eventually, you start to film, but neither of your hearts are in it. Too busy thinking about the future. So a house isn't everything. It's the people who make it a home. Home is where the heart is, after all. Fuck! That's... that's... that sucks. The only positive thing is, I got the nose spore to be gone. Three years since the uprising? Hello, Alex. I've checked the schedule for tonight. Nothing major to report. Certainly isn't anything you can't handle. Still, at least my daughter's in for Advance's new initiative. That should liven things up a bit here. Keep up the good work. I see an A back there. Oh my god, they're all just advanced. At 10 p.m. it's time for Julia's Diary, where the ever popular Prime Minister reads extra. They're like forcing me to play tapes now. I have no choice. It's the latest episode of our drama series, Betterment, which tells the inspirational story of Emily Dennisworth and the brave doctors and technicians. And this is Jenny. She's the floor manager. Hi, Stacey. Oh. That's Colin. He, um... Do you know what? Don't talk to Colin. We're getting involved in bringing your daughter to work, eh, Colin? Nah, nah, we don't believe in it. All right, come and sit next to Mum. <laughs> believe in what? Just days. Uh, that's her daughter? That a girl. <laughs> Ten seconds, everybody. <clears throat> One day's a myth. I explained so much. Okay, we are going in five, four, oh boy. three. Good evening and welcome the to the fuck? NNN. I'm Megan Oh, Wolf. look all this. I didn't even realize. <laughs> well, it's bring your daughter to work day here at Channel One. So I'm joined tonight by my This is all daughter, fancy. Stacey. Say hello, Stacey. Go fuck yourself. Oh. All right, then. Here are the stories that matter to you. First up, with advance confirming that the nuclear fallout from the 20 week war is to blame for the drop in birth rates across the territories, we asked you what keeps you going. I know that I, for one, was quite deflated when I heard about this, but reading all your submissions has really put what? the smile back on my they're, face. They're forcing positive choices. This is from Drew in Humberset. To take our minds off things, me and my partner have been building this house. There for our is hamster. no like it negativity. It really does distract us from thinking about the 85% sterility rate. So next week, we're building Nibbles a tiny conservatory, a loft conversion, and a holiday oh home. Gosh, this sucks. Thank you for that. And if you've started a new hobby, do write in and tell us about it. Next up, you know new how hobby. we love right your in. uncanny comestible coincidences. Oh my and god! I don't know about you, but I think this one. Really uh, you know, I pancake. seen the, on the news. <laughs> I think sure it was I'm a pancake by, that had like the what? things our viewers spot or the unbelievable way our that menu had, centers like are now able to face. feed every team member. So every I'm gonna do the toast. Day. Greg from Proddington has sent us this lovely photo of their breakfast saying, I couldn't bring myself to eat my toast this morning uh. because I could swear it bore the spitting image of the great Julia Salisbury's relatable face. Uh, this so is, I had to this make do with a so plate of butter like and cheese spoon for some jam. <laughs> do keep those coming in. Come on, have a go. Uh, we've just got time for one more of your stories, and this one is an inspiring story of rehabilitation. That's it, just Mechanic? tell us who it's from. Yeah, and then read it out. Okay. Uh, apparently. Oh, I can't I can't change it. Sherry Intendant. 
here I am just six months out of Betterment. I'm healthy, oh. sober and working thanks to the facilities I had access to on the inside. I'll never have to go back to my old life of stealing cars Oops. and burning down charity shops. <gasps> I just wanted to share. Oh. We absolutely love hearing uh, about team members uh, and people. So do let us know your stories here. You can do this bit, Stacey. <laughs> no, you're right. Come on, give it a try. Christ's sakes. Let us know your stories here at the NNN. Oh, I, right. I really... Change of pace coming up here. You'll need to use the SFX buttons for the next segment. The advance have already selected when and what to use. Simple stuff. Just follow your the... government orders. Gosh, Dan, this is just control. There is no freedom anymore. N, N, N. I don't remember. I don't remember it being like that. First up tonight on we have NNN. It's time to celebrate this actual reports. This is no news anymore. The Shakespeare Theatre, right here in the capital. We're going to hand over to Julia Salisbury. I suppose you don't think much of her either, eh, Stacey? She's got a lot more going for her than you, wankers. Oh. Okay. Surprising vote of approval there from Stacey. Let's go live to that right now. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this. It won't let me choose. Wow. Of all the many duties I have as team leader, this is by far the most pleasant. Oh. As I so often say to you, the uneven path is now following the demise of the disrupt firmly behind us. This is the new future. And I say to you, it's better now. Yay. I am delighted to this be is, joined this here is horrible. by one of the oldest people in Territory One. He was born over 107 years ago. This is ago. bad. Please give a warm team welcome to Alfie Touch Badger. Hello. So it's like nothing to report. have seen so much in your lifetime. What have been some of the highlights? Well, what the fuck is he doing right there? Is he alright? Right? Are you okay, sir? I don't want to do this fucking Hearing bullshit. Agent, turned on. Uh, could you turn it on? <laughs> she isn't very angry woman. She says it drains the battery. Her. Oh, she's gonna. Him a brand new battery after the presentation. She's gonna snap. Yeah, he says that's fine then. Oh. And I will, I will help him with that. Yeah, if you would. <laughs> Sorry, can't get the star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Alfie. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Seven years old. Oh, don't bloody remind me. <laughs> Would you like to tell the audience what that's like? Oh, oh, where is everybody? Oh. Um, oh out there, in the dark. <laughs> Bless him, it's not just the ears. Nope. Who are you? Uh, two sugars, please. I'm Julia Salisbury, the Prime Minister. A lovely story. Lovely like story. No, no, I, I really am the Prime Minister. Oh, oh so you're a, 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 you know, a, a woman. A, no. Ah. Oh. Oh. Women can do anything men can do these days, Alfie. Come on, Alfie. Oh, can you piss? Stand it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've ever tried. No, well, technically you. they can. Two sugars, please, and not too much milk. Uh, <gasps> should we get to the awards, Alfie? Oh. Are going to ask you about my life? Well, I'm not sure we have enough time left now for that. Uh-oh. When I was nine, I wanted a pet, so I asked my mum and pap 
There was no television then, back then, you know. We made our own to entertain out of cold and roadkill. <laughs> well, that was fascinating. Come on, so keep going. Keep pet, going. See? Keep going. But it weren't a dog. They told me it were a dog, but it were a stone. A stone? Yeah. Exactly. So I called it Patch. Which were a and then he threw it at, at someone. On account of the king having a patchy face. And I decided to introduce him to pretty little Gertie Thimble, who lived up the road. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> she threw my dog in the river. <laughs> that was, uh, I decided I'd never marry. I never <laughs> marry. Secret to your long life. <laughs> oh, no, I've been married <laughs> seven times. Oh. There was a mix up with number three, you see. Yes, I'm just lucky. <laughs> That sucks. Are we going back to the home soon? Uh, soon, Alfie. <laughs> First, let's turn to the reason we're all here. The weekly Territory One Team Award. He's got a team award? First up tonight is a lady who really knows how to put in the extra hours. She works at a transition... Someone's going bomb. Suicide bomb. And she has single-handedly allowed more families to unburden each other than any other nurse is this, in Is this one. Boastman's in the uneven part, daughter? She'd have been locked up. Wait. Tonight, she is being honoured as a team player. Please welcome Daphne Smister. Who is that? Oh, wow. She... Are you here to change me? Just uh, give her a medal, Alfie. There's a good boy. <laughs> she looks very pissed off. And don't let it steep too long. I think you're supposed to give me one of those. Oh. Well, I, 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 there he goes. Why, why are we laughing? Why am I happy? I did. I shouldn't can't get push the arms these. Up any higher than that. You'll have to go down. Uh, thank God those breakfast times are behind us, and now the territories are thriving. Are we in? As the actor said to the bishop. <laughs> yeah, thank you. She's gonna hurt. She's gonna hurt him. Holy shit. Well done. Everybody. Oh! Now, open your envelope and find out what you've won. <laughs> Don't hold back there. She's stuffing the one of Peter's homemade apples. Jesus. I want a holiday for two in Territory 15. Territory. Used to be called San Palmarino, didn't it? Uh, I believe it did. Yes. Uh -oh. like we're stuck with that then. It's easier to remember. We're all one nation now. <laughs> Isn't it still on fire? Daphne's oh. Mr. Everyone. <laughs> oh, what about my strange? I've been in these wide bunks for three days now. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that, Alfie. <laughs> oh, right you are, love. Uh, next up tonight is a couple from Farnley who, after a rocky start losing their family's ill-gotten gains to the assets and wealth okay. act, have really embraced the new future. Setting up a community farm and petting zoo in their local area. Oh, sorry, local sorry, children. sorry. I was like looking at the Please tapes down there. Otho and Lavelia, Jackson Randy Gannett. Oh, hi there. You know, when I was in the trenches, why, why, if they knew about this guy, why did they have him up? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. He were my best mate. Should we just grab him for ourselves? Probably for the best. And his best mate was Smudger A. There was them two. Little Eric. They're just giving themselves their medals. Leggy Sidney. She were a girl. But she had a boy's name, so they shipped it to the front anyway. <laughs> First girl Are they like giving their awards to people? To because it sounds, you know, it's this sounds like this sounds like the I Hunger Games with all the districts. Fiddly got shanked in Frankworth prison in Alderman over in Olive, and Terry he exploded quietly at home. <laughs> <laughs> Scratched herself to death. Just makes you think. 
thanks. I'll see great contribution. <laughs> so, Otho and Lavinia, a pet in yeah. the room. After we lost all our wealth, well, we discovered there were actually people who would never even own a pony. <laughs> Oh, clapping, so clapping for... Uh, that's the type of people we are, you see. Advantage of a private education, probably. Well, I'm sure we could debate that all night, but there's no time. So, let's see what you've won. Why did I boot up my car? It's a private ed education. Oh, absolutely. Every citizen of the new future has my ear. What happened to the drunk guy? It's just her face now. Quite literally, in my case, I used to collect shirts. Have the rest of it. <gasps> Security. Oh God, not again! If I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Pennies and the news are not good bedfellows. Keep those flappy bits off of my channel, Alex. And better. Uh, and you are. Uh, oh no! Oh, sorry. It isn't right and it isn't fair. You tell him, girl. That's my. Mind. You tell him, girl. No, no, you don't. And one mongrel. As the actress said to the bishop. Oh, here we go again. Hello. Oh! them. Why did she punch him? Oh, don't worry, love. I'll protect you. I'm like watching him. Oh, 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 what's going on? No, let's just focus on him. Just, just focus on him for now, because this, this is, this is the first part, isn't it? No, it's the second part. <gasps> oh! Oh! To take home to the family. You couldn't buy lard in those days. You had to win it. Oh, it was so much simpler back then. Boys were boys, girls were girls. Everyone else was recruited by the circus. There were loads of them, you see. They were beating the shit out of her. Hence the candy floss. You hear the music. There's a pipe organ drifting over the nearby fields. Uh, Miran used to call it the most magical sound in the Holy world. Holy shit, they be the this shit out of her. She lost her here in after giving a round of applause. <laughs> and he doesn't care? Oh, did, did you ever go to the circus? What's that, Alfie? Uh, the circus, it's all done. Uh, just the tea, pet. Well, that was an unexpected dose of naked nostalgia. <laughs> They just kicked the shit out of her. That's Dude. I look in joy and fervent admiration at the younger generation. I missed one clap. I'm, I'm probably going to get flagged for that. And with fertility falling throughout the territories, we should value our fabulous new generation now more than ever. Our final winner tonight is a go-getter who really what else? went and got him. There's two so minutes left. What is this final person going to do? Disrupt collaborators in his own neighborhood. Since then, he's gone on to be a senior cohesion cadet leader. No. And organized all of the entertainment at last year's camp cooperation. No, Our not Charlie. Our final winner tonight, Edwin Neverlay. Never mind. It's not my son. Oh, it is a kid, though. You should be in a transition centre called <gasps> Nong Prime Minister. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to finally meet you. We're very similar, in my opinion. Oh. Well, I've never been much of a role model. He fucking took the medal. Prime Minister, you have saved this country. You have fought enemies, foreign and domestic, with nine fists. As with my own tiny fists of I. Well, let's open the envelope. What's going on here? He's gonna kill her. Maybe it'll be a fist in He's gonna kill her. <laughs> It's gonna kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. A year's internship as a behavior coach at Betty. Let's show the fools where they went wrong, eh? Well, actually, betterment is about rehabilitation, Edwin. Absolutely. And if they rent me in, yeah. we retaliate. Just like you did under 
Federation. Thank you for this award. And stay vigilant. I'm like really All trying to concentrate too. Be a team player. That concludes tonight's award. Then. Maybe so she's not even part of it. Things will be a lot more normal. Back to you, Megan. Maybe she's not even part of it. I mean, yeah, she's a prime minister's like um. Well, I'm I'm watching camera four. The nurse was fucking scary. The preteens were saggy, and that little prick will never lose his virginity. Oh, what is she saying? After the break, we'll be going live for the star-studded premiere. You won't believe who's Oh, she's getting angry. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. And we're out. You know, somewhere else. Oh, Alex, one other. What's that? You're off already. I know you had to take the day of work, but you knew even... Oh, I see. What? No luck still with the other. I'm so sorry, darling. Of course. What? I'll speak to you later. What? Oh, Alex. Completely forgot what I was going to say. Blasted all. Still, I'm lucky to have her. Disaster. Wait, why is he looking? What the fuck? No. Calm down, I can't. No. Are you watching this? Are you receiving her? Are you fucking with her? Oh, right. So she can swear. Do they think Jeremy's dead? I, you know what? I think Jeremy's dead too. I think Jeremy's dead too. See? But I wanted to show the people what the fuck was going on. No, no more musicals, please. So, Patrick and Robin are just gonna grab her hand and then get these generic links on the auto queue to glue it all together. They do know I have a Queen's View degree in journalism. Don't you wish you'd study okay. something useful now, eh? All this bring your daughter to work day, what a joke. <laughs> Where is our honored guest? Where is our honored guest? Sniffing oh around that God. boy band, Hot Spot. Heat Rash. Hot Spot won it last year. Heat Rash. Heat oh God, Rash. They're running out of names, aren't they? I hear the computer guy.